solve for x plus 8 is less than or equal to 6, and graph the solution. So we have x plus 8 is less than or equal to 6. So let's solve this inequality for x. And the easiest way to isolate an x on, let's isolate it on the left-hand side, since it's already there, is to just get rid of this 8. And the best way to get rid of this positive 8 is to subtract 8 from both sides. So let's subtract 8 from both sides. That won't change the direction of the inequality. So the left-hand side, x plus 8 minus 8, you're just left with an x. The right-hand side, 6 minus 8 is negative 2. And we still have the less than or equal. So we solve the inequality. We have x is less than or equal to negative 2. So let's draw that on a number line. So, let's, so that's my number line. Let's stick 0 over here. Maybe if we go 1, and then we could go negative 1 negative 2, negative 3. And we could keep going to the left. And we want all of the x's that are less than or equal to negative 2. Since, we're e since it can be equal to negative 2, we'll put a filled in line right here at negative 2 and all of the values less than that. If it was just less than, if there wasn't the equal sign, we would have an open dot. But since there's less than or equal to, we've closed this dot. And then we want all of the values below that all of the values below that. And you could just sample a few and verify for yourself that they work. Based on this, negative 3 should work. And if you took negative 3, negative 3 plus 8 is 5, which is definitely less than 6. So that works. And negative 1 shouldn't work. It's not included in this set over here. So let's try that out, negative 1. Negative 1 plus 8 is 7, which is definitely not less than 6. So just sampling some points, it seems like we've got the right solution.